90% of guys at the gym do not need to do front delt raises. It's a waste of time. Your front delts get hit a lot when you're doing flat bench, incline bench, and if you're also doing some kind of overhead press. The front delt does not need to be focused on. Now the side delt, the side of your shoulders, that's where you can spend that time focusing on. I've got a workout routine for you here that will help you to prioritize and bring up your side delts. And we're going to be utilizing two very important training principles. Number one is the principle of specificity. If you want to get better at something, practice and perform that specific thing. If you want to have better side delts, if you want to look wider up top, spend time doing exercises that will make you look wider up top. Now, number two is going to be progressive overload. So it's important to not only train that specific muscle, also to get better at how you're training it and to improve. This is going to be a five-week program centered around the lateral raise. Lateral raise is the best exercise you can do to hit the side delts, the side of your shoulders. So let's talk about how this breaks down. You're going to be doing lateral raises three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Just make sure you have a day spaced out in between these workouts. Pick whatever day of the week you want to use. Okay, so Monday is going to be three sets of eight to ten reps focusing a little bit heavier weight, but always making sure that you're lifting with good form. Get a good stretch and a good squeeze in your delts. Don't swing, don't use momentum, don't cheat. It's really important that you be honest with yourself when you start this, you pick a, a modest weight, and then over time you can work to build on that. Wednesday is going to be a lighter day. You're going to be doing two sets of 20 reps, so focusing on pumping a lot of blood into the shoulders. Friday is going to be a modest weight, three sets, 11 to 15 reps. You'll notice that Monday is a heavy day, Wednesday is a lighter day, Friday is a medium day. It's gonna to continue to follow this pattern the rest of the weeks. So week two, you're gonna focus on progressively overloading. In order to do that, on Monday, you're gonna be adding, if you can, two and a half or five pounds to the weight you were lifting. If you can't do that, then add an extra rep or two to the previous weight that you had. That's how you're gonna progressively overload on Monday. On Wednesday and Friday, you're going to add an extra set. That's how you're going to add some more volume, and that's how you're going to continue to progressively overload on those days. So Wednesday, Friday, don't worry about adding weight. Don't worry about adding extra reps. Just pick a weight that you can get that number of reps, then add an extra set onto it. You're going to continue to do this for five or for four total weeks. On the fifth week, fifth week is going to be a deload. You're going to drop your total sets back to two sets per workout. So Monday's going to be two sets. Wednesday, you're gonna go down to two sets. Friday's down to two sets. You're not focusing on getting stronger the fifth week. You're focusing on just active recovery. You're still working out, but you're allowing your body to recover. Then once you finish the fifth week, if you like the program and you wanna run it again, you can rinse and repeat the whole process over again. But what you'll wanna do next time is you wanna start the program with a little bit heavier weight than you did prior. So, you don't have to start off with the, the week four numbers for the amount of weight you did, but start heavier than you did the first time. So that way you're giving yourself some room to be able to increase the weight. On those Wednesday and Friday uh, days, you can add more weight to those exercises as well. This is the opportunity to do that, so that way you can progressively overload and continue trying to grow your shoulders. If you run this program multiple times, your Monday numbers are gonna start to get close to their max. You're not gonna always be able to add five pounds a week on lateral raises. It's just not possible. So what you're going to want to do is just add some extra sets in the similar fashion to the Wednesday and the Friday workouts. Tack on an extra set each week and you're going to use that as the main mechanism for progressive overload on those Monday workouts. If it stops working for you, that's okay. Take a break from it for a couple months and then you can come back to it. Now let's talk some other specifics about shoulders. Again, you don't need to spend a whole lot of time doing the front delts, so provided you're still doing your bench press and your incline press, and if you want to, you can throw in some overhead press. I just wouldn't do them very often. I wouldn't do them more than once a week, probably. Also want to make sure you're doing rear delts. It's important that you're doing some kind of a rear delt raise, face pulls, something like that. And you can do those on your back day. Uh, you could do them on the same day you're doing your lateral raises. It's totally up to you. Just make sure you're doing something for your rear delts. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.